Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly Angel Scope for the sign of Scorpio for January 2021. So Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I've been making these videos and I don't know, this last couple of weeks, just foggy brain. So, you know, hopefully I don't have like a moment where I space out here um, <laughs> and forget where I am. Um, so anyway, I want to begin by just welcoming you, everyone who's new to my channel and um, to anyone who's watching for the very first time and to welcome everyone back into the new year. So this is going to be a reading for Scorpio. But before I do that, I want to just um, put out there um, some things that are going on on my channel. So firstly, um, every week I have a general reading, angel reading, and it comes out on the weekend. So it's tarot and angel oracle cards. Um, and it just gives an overview of the week. Secondly, um, I post daily card messages that I write. Um, I post them on my Facebook page. I think they come through the Twitter account as well. And they're also posted here on YouTube. And um, lastly, I am, want to just make you aware of my special offer, Angel Reading, for my $77 half hour reading has been extended uh, to one full hour. And it's been this way since the pandemic. Um, and if this is something that you could utilize, then it is available to you. There are no restrictions or limits, meaning that if you've had a reading with this special offer before, um, you are welcome to use it as long as it's available. Um, and um, you would go um, to, to set up this appointment, you would go to my webpage, the Angel School dot com slash services page okay and that link is below and you when you get to that page you're just going to select the 77 dollar half hour reading as is uh, there's no special button um and you would click on it and when you submit your your payment um within 24 hours on the first business day i will send you a confirmation email noting the special offer and it will also include instructions um, for you to set up an appointment and to provide your availability for the time frame that I indicate. So, okay, so we're having problems with the camera getting hot, so it cut off. Um, I would just go back a little bit um, because I think I, when I looked up, it was just cutting off. I had just cut off. So, you know. Basically, I'll just go back to the point where I said you can go to my webpage, the angelschool.com services page, and um, click on the $77 half hour reading as is. 24 hours later on the first business day, I will send you a confirmation email. It will include instructions to set up um, your reading and to give you the opportunity to provide your availability. And I will indicate the time frame. Um, that you can begin to submit availability for. So just take maybe two weeks um, that that occurs. Okay, so let's begin. And what happened was is that I was told that this is going to be a month of hermit energy for everyone. Okay, so um, they showed me the, the image of the hermit. Um, and so I'm going to talk about that and how it applies to you. Um, for your reading, Scorpio. And um, let's see. So number one, they're just kind of showing me um, like, you know, goals that you have, you know, huge goals. Um, and you're trying to, and they're writing the word alignment. And it's about, and, and they're writing, imp uh, I think it was empathy. So you're, you know, um, you have to really pay attention to your feelings and trust your gut. Okay, um, this is going to be the this is going to be your guide, your internal instincts, um, your feelings. So this is not a time to close off your feelings or to like try to numb out. Really be present with it. 
um, because you're being guided to achieve that goal. And it's a spiritual goal because the tree looked like a goal field. It's just like the, the, the branches were shaped as a goal. <laughs> it was weird, but funny and interesting. And But it's all about alignment. And the feelings are helping you to know where you are in terms of your alignment. So if something feels off, it's off. The alignment is off. That means that then you got to go back and look at what needs to be adjusted within yourself. Don't try to adjust outside of yourself because then you're going to get into manipulation, which means you're trying to change the outward results and the outward results are already done. You know, that's a really weird thing that what we see as the result of our reality, which we call our reality, we always try to fix it when it's already sort of done. And and what, what isn't done is energy. Energy is still flowing. So what they want you to do is to pay attention to how you feel about the, your energy and to realign, reattune, reaffirm the energy that you desire to be the input for the output of results that you will um you will, you will have. So don't work on manipulating things. Don't try to fix things. Work within yourself. Get yourself in alignment. And then everything else will start to flow. And don't focus on the physical things. Focus on how you're feeling about your reality. Because remember, beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. And that's really the alchemy. Um, that you want to have fun playing with. Wow, I can't even believe I said that because I've never had those thoughts. And it's kind of marvelous. But so you guys are really wise here, Scorpio. And that makes a lot of sense. You know this deep down and you just shared it with me. Um, so I'm going to be listening to this over and over again. Um, so yeah, this is, this, is, this is the key for you. All right. And so in, the, in that way, the hermit plays out for you that inner wisdom, that inner enlightenment, that clarity is what you're going to be working with to help you to really reach that goal that you're headed for. And it's a spiritual goal. And with that spiritual goal comes the alignment of rewards. So that's why don't focus on the outward result. Focus on the inner result. Focus on how you feel. Get into that, that mindset of beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. Change how you see things. You know, see, see, you, you may feel negative about something, but look for the positive. That's the alchemy we're talking about. And then start acting in that vein and you'll see that you're out of reality. You'll feel differently about it. And once you feel differently about it, you'll start producing effective results that reflect the outcome that you want to have as a physical experience. Okay, so let's take a look at the archangel that you'll be working with for this month and this it's the moon card. Archangel Haniel is the archangel that you'll be working with. And her name means the glory of God. So, um, you know, Archangel Haniel, you know, works with the third eye frequency, um, you know, in terms of visions and cycles of the moon here, as you see intuition. And that's why it's really important to really keep your intuition clear, to keep your to keep your mind focused on beautiful things, um, to really, you know, find appreciation in everything because that elevates your divine sight so that it can, you can imagine um, scenarios uh, of higher solutions, all right? Okay. So, you know, be aware that you might be prone with the moon card to kind of fall in prey um, to get into some dark, shadowy um, aspects. And you don't really want to allow that to sort of overwhelm or overcome you because 
it creates a sense of, of uh, creates setbacks where the ego can play with your sh with shadows and illusions and um, and kind of it's sort of like a trickster energy. I guess it kind of feels like in a sense. Um, so you have to be aware that that if you're seeing illusions or shadows and things look like this, don't be fooled by appearances. Is what's really important. Don't don't just stop because you thought, oh no, that I got that, that that something's wrong. No, go a little bit further until it becomes visible and clear that you know that what you're dealing with are facts and not illusions. Then make the decision that is right for you. Okay, so let's look at the message from your guardian angel. And boy, I just can't see. So the five of abundance. All right, so this is the five of pentacles. All right, and the message from your guardian angels here is, you know, really to reach out for the help that you need. So this may not look like the right time and it may not be the right time for you to, let's say, um, you know, so, you know, put all of your eggs in, in one basket, you know, financially, um, but and it may not be the right time to invest. You may need to wait. And it doesn't mean that it's not going to work out. It just means that you need to get that inner alignment adjustment, get that inner alignment adjustment so that you are in that place where you're open, where you're receptive to the help that you need, the opportunities that the universe will bring to you, okay? So it, it just seems like we're, you're a Scorpio. We have to be aware that you're operating with some mm, misinformation is what it feels like that you're operating with some kind of misinformation and you you really want to make sure that you get you have everything you all the facts and you want to really make sure that you're in clear enough alignment so really ground you know just showed me a tree make sure you're grounded um so that your instincts are you know um, as accurate as possible for you. So do chakra clearing, keep your energy clear, whatever you do, sage, you know, go sit by the water, you know, go for a walk, exercise to keep your vibration high. All right. So let me just read the message in the card, but it's kind of hard for me to see. Um, there are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. Okay, so this is a temporary situation, but it's because you, um, you needed to adjust your lens, that you've been given too much power to the results. And they they lower your frequency. They cause you to worry more. They cause you to, you know, have a sort of more pessimistic outlook. You know, you, you feel like uh, things are bleak because what you're seeing, but those are the results of how you keep your attunement and alignment of your perspective. And you need to change that. You need to do this alchemy in, in, in order for those results to change. All right, so this would be very important why you need that hermit, that inner reflection, that, you know, really inner attunement um, to really tap into your soul's wisdom, to unearth that, to light up the lamps of your chakras so that they're as bright and as clear as they could possibly be. be. Um, I think I have a video on um, where I did a chakra clearing of meditation. You might have to sort of dig through and find it. Um, you could go look up Diana Cooper. Um, and she has a um, one with her and Tim Wilde um, that you might want to look up um, for the, it's a 27 minute video on the um, chakras and uh, 
So just look it up and I think you'll be able to find it. But, uh, you know, even on my channel, you have it. All right. So have a beautiful month of January. Um, and, and also just remember, uh, this is so important about the Hermit message too, that what happens in this month sets up the, sets the stage for the rest of the year. Um, and remember, we like we have a sort of a clear energy um, slate and we really um, have access to these higher frequencies. And so we have the opportunity to realign and really play with this and to create forward with it. All right, so that's really important. So have a beautiful month and God bless you.